some more divisibility rules. In this module, let us observe a few more rules about the divisibility of numbers. Let us take the number 18. Can you give a factor of 18? It is 9. Now, name a factor of 9. It is 3. And 3 is also the factor of 18. 18 is divisible by 3. Consider 24. It is divisible by 8 and the factors of 8 that is 1, 2, 4 and 8 also divide 24. So from this observation, we conclude that if a number is divisible by another number, then it is divisible by each of the factors of that number. The number 80 is divisible by 4 and 5. It is also divisible by 4 into 5 is equal to 20. And 4 and 5 are co-primes as their common factor is 1 only. Similarly, 60 is divisible by 3 and 5 which are co-primes. 60 is also divisible by 3 into 5 is equal to 15. From this we derive that if a number is divisible by two co-prime numbers then it is divisible by their product also. The numbers 16 and 20 are both divisible by 4. The number 16 plus 20 is equal to 36 is also divisible by 4. If two given numbers are divisible by a number, then their sum is also divisible by that number. The numbers 35 and 20 are both divisible by 5. Let us see if their difference is also divisible by 5. 35 minus 20 is equal to 15. 15 is also divisible by 5. This implies that if two given numbers are divisible by a number, then their difference is also divisible by that number. Prime factorization. Let us see what is prime factorization. When a number is expressed as a product of its factors, we say that the number has been factorized. Thus, when we write 24 is equal to 3 into 8, we say that 24 has been factorized. This is one of the factorizations of 24. The others are 24 is equal to 2 into 12 and 24 is equal to 4 into 6. When we further factorize them, we ultimately arrive at only one factorization 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. In this factorization, the only factors 2 and 3 are prime numbers. This factorization of a number is called a prime factorization. Thus, in prime factorization, factorization only consists of prime numbers.
Here too, we ultimately arrive at only one factorization of 36 that is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. The prime factorization of 36 is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. This is the only prime factorization of 36. Now let me tell you the procedure of prime factorization of large numbers. Let us take number 980. The smallest prime number is 2. Is 980 divisible by 2? Recall the divisibility rule? Yes, as 0 is at units place, we divide the number 980 by 2. On dividing by 2, we have 490, an even number again. So, we again divide with 2. Now we have 245. 245 is not divisible by 2. Hence, we will take next prime number that is 3. Is it divisible by 3? Let us add digits and find out. 2 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 11 is not divisible by 3. Next prime number we go for is 5. Also, it is divisible by 5 as units place there is 5. So, we have 49. 49 goes with 7 and also next prime number is 7. So, on dividing with 7 we have 1. And this is how we get prime factors of 980. The prime factorization of 980 is 2 into 2 into 5 into 7 into 7. Following this procedure, we can find the prime numbers of any number.